Hello everyone, my name is Hush and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI Assistant app in Flutter. And in this video, we will use HTTP package to do an API call to our ChatGPT API. Okay, so in the last video, we created an API key for our application and in this video, we will use HTTP Flutter package okay, to make network calls. So copy this package and after that move to our VS code and inside this dependencies simply import this package for API call and simply press control save and now as you can see it is throwing me an error that the current Dart SDK uses HTTP 1.1.0 and you are using 1.1 so what I can do is I can just reduce this version to 1.1.0 and simply press control save this time and this time it won't throw an error so to make an api call in flutter what i generally do is i simply create a separate folder called as apis and inside that i create a file called as apis.dart and there is a class apis this is just a convention that i follow three letters capital and one small and inside this i have created a function called as get answer so you can post any question you like and it will provide you an answer okay so simple now which api we have to use we have to know that first so simply move to this documentation of open ai and inside this below you can see something called as text generation so simply click on it and as you scroll down you will see different models use different api endpoints okay so these are urls which are required to make an api call and since we are interested in this chat gpt 3.5 turbo i will use this api.openai.com and mainly this chat and completions if you want to use any old version in that case you can simply call completions but since we require this what i will do is i can just copy this url but for now let it be and let's scroll a bit down to see a demonstration of its example so to make an api call using chat completions we need to do a request like this so actually this is in python so what we will require is uh, actually i will prefer this curl one okay because it provide more details of the request so as you can see there is something called as content type that we have to send and then there is a authorization bearer api key token that we have to pass and then we have to specify a model as well as we can also specify some things like messages so we are gonna use this one so what I will do is I will just copy this HTTP URL and simply move to our VS code and inside this get answer uh, I will call the post method okay of HTTP now why post uh, HTTP contains different methods like get post update delete and many more but why we are using post then actually we want to send some data as well as we want to get a response in that case generally post method is required in get we simply call the api and it provides us the data and generally we use post when we have some data to send and we want some response so there are some properties like headers body etc so first we will cover these headers so we have to send some headers here comma uh, we also require to send a body or else it will kind of throw an error and another thing we are missing the main stuff that is an url so we have to pass a url here and actually it accepts a uri so we have to write uri dot pass and we need to paste that url here okay so simply this is our url and we need to pass some header we need to pass some body and then we can call this now what we want to pass in headers so if you observe this curl api request we need to pass content type in header and authorization token in header so i'm just copying this application slash json which means we are sending a json data in the body parameter so that's for we are mentioning it and authorization is required for api verification that we are a legit user and after that what i can do is inside these headers we can use something like this http headers dot and we can use something called as content type header okay we don't have to write this stuff content type we can use some predefined constants and inside this i can just simply pass the content type json and after that similarly http headers dot and we have to mention authorization 
so we have to use this authorization header and inside this we can pass this bearer and since bearer is required here and our api key so dollar api key and we have already imported our api key in the last video inside this globals okay so that is our api key so we are done with the headers now we have to send a body okay to get a response now what we need to write in this body so if you just check the documentation we need to pass something called this model for which model we want to request and as well as uh, there is something called this message so i will just copy this one out i will paste it here and i will end this square braces here and after that what we can do is rather than this role system i will use role user which means respond it like a user okay and after that we want to use this chat gpt 3.5 turbo if you want to use any another you can paste its name okay like if you wish to use this above chat gpt 4 so just copy this and paste it there this chat gpt 4 turbo then you can also paste it here okay now inside this role user and inside this content what i will do is i will just pass this question so simply like this question and simply press ctrl save now actually we have done an api call but we also want the response from the api call so i will create a final variable response and actually it contains future response so to get simply a response i need to write a await keyword okay which means wait for this api to complete and then store the response in this one so i have added some comments to make code look a bit neat and now actually we are sending this application slash json which means we have to send json uncoded data from here we can't send it like this directly so what i will do is i will cut and i will use a function called as json uncode now what this function does uh, this function takes a json variable and uncodes it and convert it into a json string and adds double quotes and similarly like this so we need to use this json uncode and we need to send the body like this so it will create a string and it will send that string and we have also sent a header so they will get to know that it's a JSON data and finally what I will do is uh, I will just print out the data for now so simply log and inside this uh, simply response dollar response and actually I will use a curly braces around it dot because I want to see that body which means what it returns in the body and simply like this and we can press the control save now we need to call this api so what i can do is inside this home screen uh, inside this build function i can call this api so simply like this apis and we need to import it dot get and actually it is not showing here because i have to create it as a static so simply static and simply get answer and we need to pass a question and now we need to just run our project so simply press f5 to run it and as you can see the application is up and running and you can see a response here if i just uh, open it like this you can see a response here simply uh, i have sent simply message called as hi and it written me a response called as hi how can i help you today and it is also showing how many prompt tokens I have used and completion tokens and total tokens that it have provided so 18 tokens have been used in this request okay so we can also set the number of max tokens that we want to use in a request so what I can do is inside these APIs and mainly inside this uh, our body we can set max underscore tokens and we can specify a limit for now I am keeping it as 2000 so I think 2000 is more than enough maximum it can take 4000 and after that we can also uh, mention an attribute called as temperature and I am setting it as 0 now you might wonder what is this 0 means 0 means completely focused when we set temperature near 100 it is from 0 to 100 so when we set near 100 it means kind of creative around 50 it is also focused and creative so the range varies now if we wish uh, what we can do is we can print main response rather than whole API response so what I wish to print is I want this content I don't want all this so what I can do is inside these choices actually we need to write it like this so we need to first decode this uh, data so what I can do is final data is equals to 
json decode because we have received a json string here this is a json string so we have to decode it so simply res dot body means response dot body and after that inside this data what i wish to print is data and simply inside this this choices uh, actually we need these choices and after that this is an array list or a json list so what i can do is i want the zeroth position okay which means the first index this one zero one and inside this i wish to use these messages so simply like this two semicolons and simply messages or message and finally what we wish to print is this content so we can just paste it like this and now if I just press control save now this home screen method will be executed once again and if I just move below simply hello how can I assist you today so that's great so we are able to ask a question to chat GPT and we are also able to get an answer from it okay so in the future videos we will use this answer in our conversation so that's it for this video see you in the next video Till then, bye-bye.